Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we are going to be showing Denise the movie Wreck. Now, for those of you who do not know, Wreck is a movie that came out in 2007. It's a Spanish horror film. It's in found footage format. And it's actually been quite hard to find a horror movie that she hasn't seen. Many of you know she loves horror. <laughs> and this is one of those gems that I think, oh my God, I'm so excited to show <laughs> this movie to her. I've been waiting for quite some time. And I, you know, I was wait waiting for the right season. It's spooktober. It's the moment to do so. <laughs> and this is a movie that I've seen a lot of you guys actually recommend it. I already knew about this movie, but it's great to see just, you know, how far it's reached and how popular it is. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I actually grew up in Madrid, Spain. So, you know, this film, when it came out, it was very dear to our hearts. We were very proud of it. I remember going with my friends to the movie theater, seeing it and, you know, crapping our pants watching this. <laughs> um, and it's really cool to see the reception that these movies has had internationally. So I'm very excited to see you watch this. I'm curious to see what you're going to think. And I really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I remember the only reason why I I had heard about this movie is because I remember there was an American remake. Yes. Um, never watched that one either because I'm like, just it didn't really like draw me in that much but you know seeing your excitement has me really really excited because like you, you know what i like at this point you know what i mean and like with horror movies i feel like just give me some good thrills you know just freak me out that that's all i really want it's spooktober it's the best freaking season of the year i'm super 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 excited because you're excited and you guys are excited so i already know it's gonna be freaking great <laughs> I am excited to revisit this. It's been a couple of years. I don't remember exactly the, you know, how I normally mention this when I've seen a movie before, uh, the intricacies and all that. I do remember some of the, I don't want to say any anything, but you know, <laughs> the cool <laughs> things that happen in this movie. Uh, I remember glimpses of it and I remember mm -hmm. being so, so thrilled, by, you know, watching with my friends and really, the, you know, that's one of the movies where I mentioned before, my friends were idiots sometimes watching movies. They love to crack jokes in the middle of it. And I was like the serious grumpy Gus being like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to pay attention here, please. To watch and movie. This is one of the films that actually had my friends shush. Like they were like this watching like <laughs> what the hell is this? So yeah, this is this is uh, that level. I, I mean, I don't want to put any ideas in your head. I'm, I'm I'm very excited to hear your opinion and how you're going to you know absorb all the information. I hope you enjoy it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to catch the full length reaction, that's going to be available on our Patreon. And if you want to watch these reactions early, make sure that you hit the join button and become a YouTube member. A huge shout out to Elliot Bullock. And also to Vince Thompson Jr. Guys, thank you so much for becoming producer nights. If it weren't for you, we would have probably gotten slashed years ago. So thank you so much. <laughs> For your help you guys have kept us safe and protected throughout the entirety of spooktober so thank you thank you thank you we hope <laughs> that you guys enjoy and as always we'll catch you guys after the movie muy buenas noches les habla ángela vidal hoy como cada noche vamos a compartir estos minutos nocturnos con <laughs> <laughs> yep i'll oh, take really? yeah si usted duerme vamos a acompañar a una dotación de bomberos en su recorrido nocturno y me ahogo. <laughs> you gotta breathe, happens. gotta remember to breathe. <laughs> Lo que nadie había visto antes, cómo viven, cómo duermen, cómo descansan, cómo se preparan, qué comen. Vamos a ver el interior de la vida de este parque de bomberos. That's so cool, getting to see how they actually live, right? What is the lifestyle like yeah. while they're waiting for the call? Oye, que tú mismo, si ves que es un coñazo, pues corta, que me estoy oliendo yo que este tío. Así ahorramos cinta. <laughs> <laughs> Este es nuestro casco, es casco integral. ¿Eh? Te lo puedes poner, está limpio. ¿eh? Oh, that's so sweet. Nos los ponemos mejor. Pero es fácil, es fácil. Lo que pasa es que soy seno. <laughs> She's swimming in it. Ojos <laughs> animados, ¿no? Ya caéis ahí directamente. Que, que, que son los dibujos que nos han copiado nosotros. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they have to be ready, right? Yeah. Matter, getting ready in a matter of seconds. It's life or death, right? This feels so natural. This really does not feel like a film at all. It's like they're documenting it, right? Yeah. It's the great thing about found footage. They're all so excited to have him there. <laughs> Sounds great, buddy. Sounds amazing. La noche normal es bastante rutinaria. Porque... Normal. Sí, normal. Es normal que... Te va a sonar fatal, pero yo estoy deseando que suene la sirena y que haya una salida gorda. Sí que no pasa nada. He's like, I hope not, but okay. Así que nada, pues esto es la vida de los bomberos, a seguir esperando, pasando las horas y... Yeah, not much to do but wait for now. 
She's, She's like, like, oh, God, God. Damn it. I really wanted an interesting episode. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. I couldn't do it. It takes me like 15 minutes <laughs> to just be human, you know, to realize what day it is. What am I doing here? Who am I? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> yeah. Where am I? <laughs> Three minutes. Man, heroes. I mean, it's also a different mindset, right? When other people depend on you. Yeah. True. Hey, there you go. There's your excitement for you. Oh. All right, there's the call. Ah, uh, do oh, it with shit. the camera, man. Come on. You can do it. One hand. <laughs> no, those cameras are heavy, actually. They're huge, yeah. too. There's no way. It'd be a cool shot, though. Oh, the siren? Ah, uh, oh, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> Man, that's, that's home. Rule. So cool. Kind of weird to see it on film. I think I know where this is. Let's see it. A woman was screaming. You hear all the chaos, everybody trying to figure out what's going on. He's like, what the f is this? He's making his boundaries loud and clear, right? Am I speaking Greek or what? Oh, so of course everybody was curious once they heard. Yeah, he's not having it. Ha tenido algún problema? Los vecinos han oído gritos. Mari Carmen, que es la mujer que ha llamado a los bomberos de la policía, dice. Ooh, damn. Señora, move out of the way, bro. Dude, the atmosphere, right? You can't really see. It gives you so much anxiety. This is amazing. Tranquila. Enseguida la trasladaremos a un hospital. ¿Cómo se llama la vieja de los cojones? He's like, what's your <laughs> fucking name? <laughs> it's funny, I understand just enough to know that the English translation doesn't do it justice sometimes. <laughs> Where are their noises coming from behind? Oh, oh god. <laughs> bad timing, bro, bad timing. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's off. Sure. She's very erratic, dude. <laughs> Oh shit. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh. She's biting him. What the f Oh my god. Oh that? my god. Now they have to rush that guy to the ambulance. Damn, dude. Yeah, you would lose a lot of blood. Right you there in there, the, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's pure chaos. This is so effective, dude. This is amazing. What? What do you mean they can't leave? Man, they gotta try to treat him right then and there. 
Oh, you don't got the tools you need. No. What the hell is he supposed to do? Why did they block the door? I beg your finest pardon? What? That's yeah. not exactly going to help me stay calm. Yeah, especially when you just saw what they saw upstairs. Oh my god, the anxiety. Dude. Everybody's bombarding him. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. What a mess. The panic is so real, it's infectious. Dude, the people's panic, like the acting, is amazing. Like I mentioned, this feels so real. What the hell? Oh, that's the guy that they left upstairs? No, that was a big fall. What the hell do you do? Oh God! That is. Dude, I'm. I have sweaty palms, man. Thing is, these are people you work with every single day, yeah. and then something like this happens <gasps> right in front of you, and you can't do anything. Don't go up there, man. Sounds like trouble. <laughs> Dude, it's like there's sounds coming from all over. Why would you go in there by yourself, man? It's not worth <laughs> no. the shot. It really is not <laughs> no. not worth it. Oh, oh shit! Ah, what the hell? What is this? What is this? Oh. What the hell is that? She's oh, no. dead. Señora. <laughs> No, fuck that. Shoot it. Shoot the bitch. <laughs> wow. Even the shock of what just happened and yeah, the, how they process it. The silence that followed that shot. This escalated so freaking quickly, man. What the hell? She's in shock. Yeah, she doesn't even know what to do. Tenemos órdenes muy claras de permanecer en el portal. Joder, entiéndeme. Estos hombres están muriendo. A tomar por culo las órdenes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, like... you gotta do the right thing. If you can help them, you gotta go treat them. Yeah, because the thing is, like you said, right? These guys, like you've been working with them for so long. Ya ha subido la fiebre. Necesita que la vean un médico. Oh, and the little girl too. They got the, yeah, the back door is also covered. <laughs> what? Yikes. Señores, por favor, vámonos para allá. No, 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 no. Aquí hay algo más. El móvil no funciona. Ni la televisión, ni la radio. Wow. What? Yo qué puedo hacer? Desde la oficina que hay en el principal se puede saltar al patio. No hay mucha altura. Yo voy con usted. ¿Para dónde vas? I mean, I can't blame these people trying to get the hell out of here because, like, what the hell is going on, man? Also, it's really difficult being the one guy that's trying to keep everything under control. Yeah. In this situation. And once the survival instinct kicks in and yeah. the panic. Entonces, cuando hemos subido, había alguien más en casa de la vieja. ¿Cómo? ¿Había alguien más? ¿Quién? No sé, una chica. Right, who was that girl? Like a granddaughter or something? Por aquí. Es por aquí. Dude, <laughs> this is so freaking good. Wow. Yeah, that's not the type of stuff you want to see when you're trying to stay calm. Dude, I would lose my freaking mind. What do you mean? My God. You got to do something. Hey, hey, hey. This guy's so concerned over who 
is the boss. <sighs> Did he pull the gun? I can't see. Oh. oh. Oh, I see how it is. This piece of shit. Just makes it feel so claustrophobic. Yeah. You're stuck in there. The thing is, like, if they told me why I have to stay in here, then that's fine. I'll cooperate. But if you just lock me in like this, oh, I'll go feral. I don't blame these people. Los vecinos están completamente asustados, están cansados, tienen ganas de volver a sus casas y sobre todo de saber qué está sucediendo. They need to, right? At least with some information, you can kind of calm the people down. Yeah. But the way that this escalated... Ah, uh, still holding on. So bad for this guy. Oh, damn, dude, she took out a chunk. And this poor guy, he's just... Doing what he can with yeah. what he has, yeah. <gasps> oh, it's uh, right in there! <laughs> La señora izquierdo les ha atacado y les ha mordido. Supongo que por una crisis uh, histérica. It's a hell of a crisis, man. Y no sé, y hay que sacarlos rápido porque han perdido mucha sangre. Oh, poor guy. You see the desperation in his eyes. Yeah, he's oh trying to do God. the best he can and help these guys out, but... Oye, ¿cómo te llamas? Que, que lo sepa todo el mundo. ¿Cómo te llamas? Jennifer. Oh, she looks rough. Y tu perrito tampoco está, ¿no? Porque no, no le veo. No, no está. ¿Le quieres mucho a tu perrito? Sí. Oh. Yo no puedo subir a mi casa para nada, ¿sabes? Oh, her place is upstairs, Yo, too. Oh yeah, sue the hell out of them. A los periódicos también a escribir ahí que me lo escriban ellos que qué es lo que ha pasado. Let the world know. Yeah, I love that they took the time to do these interviews to kind of slow things down and help us get to know them a little bit better and to also help us understand the like the effects of the situation. Son los chinos estos que comen. Crudo, el, el pescado crudo. Wow. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with this man. Bueno, ¿cuándo empezamos? Well, ya estamos. Pero ¿cómo no me abrís? <laughs> I don't want people to know that I'm racist. <laughs> Así me parece que mejor de este perfil. ¿No? ¿Así? Sí, es increíble. <laughs> ¿Te gusta, Pablo? Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> this freaking guy. The whole world's going to shit. He's like, I think the left is my better side. <laughs> yeah, at least he knows his angles, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. Me acaban de informar de que está a punto de entrar el agente de sanidad que nos habían dicho. Oh, thank freaking. En cuanto comprueben que todo está bien, nos dejarán salir y levantarán el precinto. If everything is okay. <laughs> Yikes. Mi padre está está enfermo. Mi padre está. Sí, hombre, sí, es que es un hombre muy mayor, que está paralítico. Exacto. Mi padre está enfermo. Igual es él el culpable de lo que pasa. Oh my God, guys, what the hell? Bajar mi padre, ¿verdad? Hmm. ¿Cómo, cómo se llama? Ba bajar mi padre, ¿verdad? A mí no me parece ninguna buena idea porque vete a saber si ha sido el causante de todo eso. Wow, now people are just yeah. blaming. That is crazy. Watch them turn on each other like this. Señora. Su hija también está enferma y nadie Mi le ha dicho nada. Mi hija tiene anginas. Eh, no. right. a ver, nadie se va a mover de aquí, eh? hasta que lo diga el médico. Yeah, you see how quickly, like, yeah. from fear, they start pointing fingers. I love how organic that transition occurs, right? Like, mm -hmm. it feels very, very real and yeah. raw. Oh, this is so disturbing, dude. Pero que es esto? ¿Qué más que no? Oh, this is bad. Is that a hazmat suit? Huh? Yeah, it sure looks that way. Oh, that. Sin decirnos absolutamente nada. Hemos visto geos, hemos visto varios técnicos sanitarios completamente aislados con máscaras. Dude, special forces, people in hazmat. Los demás vecinos permanezcan aquí. ¿Qué hace un equipo de televisión aquí? Uh, time to explain. Uh huh. Jennifer. <laughs> Such a creative way to have I a know. shot there, right? <laughs> Just recording. Well, it's it's these little details that make it feel more real, right? Like very found footage, like it's out of focus. Obviously, it's not like very well framed because yeah. someone just left the camera there. This is awesome. This is so freaking awesome, dude. 
Mira, sea lo que sea, mordido al policía y al bombero. Si es contagioso, como dicen, que quién nos dice que no se van a poner esos ah, Okay, so it was, it was not just me that started thinking about that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta... It's interesting though, because like a lot of people that are sick in the building, huh? No! No! No, 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 no! Uh, you guys got caught. Oh, I'm so snooping. This is one of those moments where I'm absolutely snooping, you guys. <laughs> totally. Curiosity killed the cat? Nah, I need to know the shit. <laughs> Pablo's risking it all right now. <laughs> yeah, they need to get the information. Oh my god. What? Well, it looks like they've got some sort of medication. Is that supposed to be happening? Oh my god, this lady. <laughs> Please shut the f up. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> it's all going to shit. That's what's happening. He's like, let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit. Oh, that glass. Damn, dude. So it looks like they're very strong. Recibimos un aviso de un veterinario. A que le había llegado un perro afectado por una infección desconocida. Mm. Con una agresividad fuera de lo común, atacando a los oh. demás animales de la clínica. Ah. Seguimos el chip reglamentario y nos llegó a este edificio. Un momento. Yeah, it's the little girl's dog. Yep. So now, oh. yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. Whose fault is it now, you think, huh? Solo tenemos que asegurarnos. Tranquila. Oh. Tranquilízese. You can see in her reaction oh, she is... La niña solo tiene angrinas. I mean, She's that's not her... processing all of that. Yeah. I mean, that's her yes, baby girl. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, this is so messed up, dude! Yeah, that's not a... a tonsil issue. <laughs> oh, my God. They're cuffing er everybody. Yeah, now she was bitten too. Suben a buscar a la niña. Inyectenle esto y bájenle rápido. Tienen que estar todos aquí. Vete, vamos. Yo me quedo. Grábalo todo. Tengo el teléfono de la niña. I really hope this is something else than what they injected the uh, the fireman with, because that was clearly not useful. <laughs> He's so done with <laughs> the guy. He just got recording. beef with the camera. Hostia puta. La vieja no está. Oh shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh no, 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 no. That's like the worst news ever. That's not what you want to hear. It's like what the the dead didn't stay dead? <laughs> what happened here? <gasps> Holy shit, dude. This is like a well, I don't want to call it that, but it's like zombie virus. <laughs> Ah! No, 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 no! Creepy child! Creepy child! Shoo! Get away! I don't think that's Jennifer anymore, man. Such so a sweet little up. girl. I know! That's the thing! Don't stretch out your hand like that, man. Oh, look at her eyes! Hell no! <laughs> I'm, I'm locking her up! Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew it, you were too close! Um, dude, what? Oh, and she's small, too. Dude, uh. she, ah! Dude, a little girl can do this? Yeah, it's definitely some kind of... 
She can, extra strength. Yeah. Overpowered them. Dude, it's taking two grown men to hold her down. Oh no. He's like, yeah, just leave. Oh shit! Damn! Go again, keep going! Yeah. Damn. Keep going. Don't don't stop now. I would just lock up this apartment and just make sure it stays closed. That moment where you could just see the reaction, he is so disturbed. Why is everybody running upstairs? Oh, he's... Yeah, the health inspector is just... Freezing. Oh, oh man. Fear got the best of him. Yeah. That is a really bad way to go. <laughs> They're pounding on that door. Dude, I the <sighs> sounds they make are so scary, dude. Yeah, she now she's breaking down. <laughs> Oh, he got bitten too? <gasps> Leave him in there. <sighs> he's, he's saying the door won't hold? Yeah. Damn, and he's trying to help them out, locking himself in like that. And where's the key? Oh, Help him, help him. Oh my god. They are so strong. Shit, I can't remember either, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that's the oh, damn. Bare fist? Whoa. <laughs> With his bare fist, man. Holy shit, he just went. That was badass. Can we talk about that though? That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh God. Well, she's handcuffed, so. Haul ass, you guys. Haul ass. Oh, shit. Just keep moving. Oh my God. I'm so anxious right now. I think that is that the that's the girl from the older lady's apartment. Come on, you gotta come on, come on, come on. Damn, that physical Shit. strength is coming in in handy. Oh no. <gasps> oh shit. What? Imagine the realization. Oh, she's so scared that she thinks she got bitten. Or he's lying to her to make her feel better. When the hell did they get sick? They got bitten too? Toss her down, toss her down. <laughs> Oh. oh no 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 no! Do not leave the fireman by himself. You need him. Oh no! 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, he's gonna take care of her. Don't let her bite you! <laughs> he's handling business. Dude, the fact that we don't see it and we only hear the impact of the mallet is a genius choice, man. Let's just hope that the keys are actually in here. Dude, this is so damn creepy. Dude, this... See, but like, this is the best usage of found footage. This is when it makes perfect sense. And it's not your home. How are you supposed to know where one key is going to be? Right. Shit, I lose mine all the time and I know my place. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, what the hell happened? She hit the mic, I think. Oh, that is so oh, that's damn. so good! Whoa! <laughs> Grab all of the keys, dude. Lock yourself. Oh my god. All those things. Oh, wow. Este es el piso que estaba cerrado. Aquí no puede haber entrado nadie. Vale, pero enciéndela, por favor. Oh, the penthouse that they mentioned. Um, this is not looking too great, you guys. You know, it's just your regular place, dude. Yeah, just a nice little uh, chemistry set. Mm. Possession? That is creepy. Just seeing all that. Please be quiet. I know you're scared, but damn, dude. That was not the pipes. Holy shit, dude. Dude, look at all this crap. What the hell was this guy doing here? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess they were wrong. Dude, this is so freaking creepy, man. Oh, nice. A tape? No, I need exposition! A vaccine. Oh, freaking excellent. Highly contagious, then. Years ago? Been a big mistake. What the hell? Seal off the room? What? <laughs> Seals oh. should keep her in. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Espera. Don't get too curious. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, broke the light. Tranquila, tranquila, no te muevas. Voy a poner la visión nocturna. Vale. Oh my god. Oh, that is brilliant. Shit, dude. Imagine that's the only way you can see. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> you know, 
Ahora voy a buscar una salida. Vale, vale. Ponte detrás. Vale. Sobre todo no me sueltes. Quieta. And things you can't even see clearly because it is night vision? Quieta. ¿Por qué? Excuse me. Holy shit. Shit. Oh. What the hell was that? Yeah, do not make a sound. Oh my god, what is that thing? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is nuts. How does this even happen, dude? And imagine she can't see what he is seeing. She's just hearing the noises. How long can you stay quiet? Oh, what? Go, yeah. Oh my god. She's completely in the dark, dude. Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh sound my design God. is amazing in that. Yeah, you ju you just see just enough to know what's going on. Yeah, I love that they just to bring the audio in and out. Uh. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, just go. <gasps> <laughs> oh shit. And that is it. <laughs> Whoa. No. So, that was wreck. What do you think? First of all, what was that ending? I mean, it's it's a great ending. Okay, it's great. But I need, I don't know, I needed a resolution. I need a survivor, man. These guys, like, they fought so hard. I felt so bad for every single one of them, man. The way that this started off so casual, I think it was a fantastic choice. I love that it started off, you know, like, you know, people were cracking jokes. All of those little moments where, you know, people are just going about their day. She jinxed it, man. She said it, you know? <laughs> it's like there's this inside joke where you're never supposed to say, oh, it's a quiet night when you're like a fireman or like, you know, an, an, an emergency room worker. You're never supposed to say that, right? And like, she jinxed it, I swear. Like, she said, oh, we gotta get something exciting. And there you go. We got something extremely <laughs> exciting. I don't think this is what they signed up for, though. Real talk, though, this was fantastic. This is one of the best found footage films I have ever seen. I have to say, having the found footage style for this was the perfect choice. I would not have this any other way. It was amazing that, you know, we had a solid reason why we had a camera, right? It's not just someone recording for memories or something like that. I mean, that makes sense too, but in this case, they're an actual TV crew, you know what I mean? And they need the footage and, you know, it starts off with this is going to be something that, you know, it's just another job for them and then it turns into something that they possibly could have used for evidence if they had been able to escape. I really like the human element in this in the sense of the progression of, you know, the denial and then the slow descent into panic and how the fear had people turning on each other and pointing fingers and you know the clues started like they i caught a few people being sick right like the the grandpa of the family mm -hmm. he was sick the dog was sick the little girl was sick i'm like there's a lot of sick people in this apartment the terror in this felt so real the acting was absolutely amazing man like these felt like real people this mm -hmm. felt like i was catching a glimpse into this one horrible night for all of these people and the a horrible end for each of them and just the fact that you know the that the fact that they got locked into this apartment building with no answers and then the inspector comes in and then we still get just just a little bit more and then everything that we know gets turned around when we enter the penthouse apartment right where it's like you know we see a lot of religious iconography you know there's newspaper clippings of possession and whatnot and then the 
the man is talking about like developing a vaccine and i thought that that was so creative it's like possession but not really like the, mm. this person is like attempting to get, have like a scientific solution to this and i thought that that was so creative i don't think i've ever seen that before now i know we're dealing with an infection here and whatnot but i like the out of the box explanation and how they tie it to it it kind of reminded me a lot actually of the creativity when it comes to the resident evil games and how they explain the different settings and why you're seeing what you're seeing if you guys have played those games then you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but in this case yeah i love that they keep the mystery going i remembered the penthouse sequence the most i did not remember a lot of the action actually throughout the apartment <laughs> thing so that was really cool to re-experience but i remember the, the the penthouse because i was so into the lore at the time i wanted mm -hmm. to know what the hell went down so apparently i think i can say this now because i know there's sequels so i'm trying to see like what i can say and what i cannot say at least what the conclusion is is that that thing that we saw in the apartment was that girl that disappeared so she is like subject zero i, I would call her like yeah, the first patient zero patient zeros yeah holy shit dude yeah yeah because it's like oh that's terrifying man yeah because like it, there were a lot of articles about that little girl right damn that's so messed up and like he, he was just trying to what cure her all this time and then what happened where did it go <laughs> like well something happened yeah and it's interesting <laughs> yeah something for sure happened because how did this get out right because like mm -hmm. it looks like he was trying to keep everything contained in his apartment so who was patient zero here you know i wonder if it, well, like was it the dog that's as far as we could trace it back i guess it was not the little girl like the girl got it from the dog i'm assuming at this point and the way that it spread man you know the the violence aspect of this you know the the attacks and the bites and everything it it was so raw and it was so rough and i loved also like the usage of lighting or lack thereof you know you see the silhouette of the older lady in the in the apartment you know there's the the way they utilize silence oh and the way they cut in and out with the audio mm. because like the camera gets hit right so it takes a while for it to kind of reconfigure it and i love that they did that man that was so smart because it leaves us just as discombobulated as the character in the movie you know we're just as confused confuses them and we're right there with them and the way that it keeps you trapped the same way that all of these people do was amazing this is masterfully handled man like i am so unbelievably impressed with this movie like low-key obsessed this is really cool and look, this is really cool and the thing is like like you said like the lore in this is so freaking good like i need some like ending explained or something like that <laughs> so i can like really like dig into the lore more because that's how you know you have a great movie where you give just enough of an explanation where it gives you some answers but like those answers breed more questions and that right. just makes you want to know more and i love that it's unsatisfying because i freaking love lore and i just need a full exposition dump i do okay i admit it i want a full exposition dump but i love that they didn't do it it's like just like yeah you know it's like it's like stuck in my throat and i just need more <laughs> i think it was the best decision you know it really keeps the tension going you are constantly wondering why this is happening what is it that we're dealing with just like the people in the apartment and the fact that you are seeing this through a first person view right you are effectively in the adventure with them and alongside them and you feel like you're one more tenant yeah. per se so that just you know it, it heightens that level of fear and i think what they really did well here is they keep the tension going and going and going with multiple elements like the people starting you know to point fingers at each other and and going nuts because that's exactly how the reaction would be i'm assuming right yeah. like we've seen how people react to a crisis like this and it's not pretty so yeah. getting the inside look of what an apartment would feel like under these circumstances because we always see like we always see the zombie situation from like a different point of view right like it's we're we're outside or there's more space mm -hmm. or they have weapons or they're competent and they know what's going on but i think what fascinates me the most out of those movies is those first opening minutes when they don't know what's happening and that's essentially this entire movie they have no idea what they're doing once they do they they, they figure out that they need weapons and they need to start defending themselves but by that point so many people have gotten hurt right and each one of those victims are another person you have to start worrying about down the line mm -hmm. so i love how it takes so long for them to 
to realize what is happening, which would be the, the case, right? Nobody would just assume these uh these guys are zombies. <laughs> you know, nobody <laughs> would, right? In our normal day to day. So I love that the I guess the the time that it takes for them to come to a conclusion, it's so natural. And that happened throughout the acting in this whole film. Like they didn't just process information and go about their day. There was moments where they needed to take a bit of a beat to be like, holy shit, I just shot someone. And that was not in my bingo card for the night, <laughs> right? Like that's not what I expected. And how do we get here? And they take that moment to breathe and the film takes the moment to pause. But throughout those pauses, you're building tension because you're like, what is going to happen now? What is going to, I feel like something bad is about to happen in it. <laughs> Bam. It happens and it, it releases that tension and it, it's all just done so effectively and you are kept in the dark as an audience, but it, it's really fun because although they keep you in the dark from an exposition point of view, they're keeping the audience highly engaged by almost being part of the action. And I think that's when the found footage format really comes into play and why this movie does it better than a lot of movies that try to emulate this format or try to attempt a found footage film. What I like about this one is that even though you get that ending where you don't really know what's going on, kind of similar to the Blair Witch Project, where you don't know what the hell happened. You can only mm -hmm. assume the worst. You do get a lot of exposition and it's concrete. One thing that I liked about Blair Witch, for example, is how abstract they kept everything. But I wish we could have gotten a resolution. Like we had all these theories, but at least be able yeah. to say that was the one that was true. In a way, you can kind of do that, but I wish it was a bit more clear. In this case, you get the exposition and it kind of completes the cycle for the audience. Like you understand how we got to this point and that is what matters because that is a question you would be asked asking yourself like how come out of this entire city it's this apartment and you get that explanation what you don't get is what happens to these people <laughs> that were filming right the film crew what happens you can only assume the worst and i love that that was such a great choice man you know i loved how they switched to the night vision mm. at some point and you know we silence of the lambs i was just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> yep. i was just gonna say that you read my mind i love that they did that it's such a great way to kind of rob your audience of even more clarity because found footage already, you get a lot of shaky cam. You get a lot of people, you know, like running around and they're not obviously going to hold the camera perfectly still. They're running for their lives, you know. But the fact that we felt so abandoned in multiple stages of the movie, like whether it's, um, you know, when they take away the sound, when the lights all of a sudden turn off in the apartment building. And then, you know, when we're in the penthouse and the camera light breaks, it instills such a deep rooted fear of abandonment and being mm. in the dark and the claustrophobia the girl she couldn't see anything and like that makes it even worse at least the cameraman pablo like at least he could kind of see a little bit more than her but she was just in the dark she was just hearing those noises of that creature <laughs> i guess like just roaming around the room and i can only imagine how terrifying that must be and there are so many different levels of fear here you know you get like elements of body horror are you good? obviously towards the end like a little sprinkle of like you know possession slash exorcism mm -hmm. vibes you know like i didn't want to immediately jump to the conclusion of zombies like because like they mentioned infection i'm like oh okay like that's very interesting and then i'm like no no grandma she was shot and then she came back i'm like yep that's zombies <laughs> <laughs> at this point i don't i don't know what else to call it maybe they're in the lore there's a different name for them but it, that's a zombie situation and that's not bad again Double tap. Go for the headshot. Always shot. double tap. Always double tap. Yep. No, it was great, man. I love that. Every single character, the way they were freaking out and everyone was trying to keep control of the situation in a different kind of way. All of it, it just made so much sense. I, I genuinely love that. I wonder how much of this was um, maybe they were given some room to improvise, right? When it comes to the dialogue, but like the acting, I have to say this again, man. I, j I felt like this was real and that is such a huge accomplishment. Such a kudos to the actors. Like they sold the hell out of this movie like i felt the terror i was right there with them like my heart was like pounding in my throat dude <laughs> holy shit but oh this is so much fun i freaking love this movie dude really really good man we did it i'm so <laughs> so happy to hear that i really am because it's really tough like i mentioned to choose a movie that you haven't seen when it comes to the horror genre so i'm glad we got this one and i'm so glad that you liked it i enjoyed the heck out of this watching this again and seeing the execution of it is so interesting now that i have the knowledge of how i would would do something like this it's really cool getting to learn a trick or two you know from their book that was really effective and i really really enjoyed it again i think the acting was top notch yeah. as well the lack of score is really uh ugh. you know when you hear any noise that you hear back there you're like oh god what was that what was that's that? what you want this was a great time guys we hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for joining us today and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya